Hi guys, how are you? Uh, I'm sitting on my floor and I'm gonna show you some books and I've got a lot. So I might not get through all of them, but I'll do the best I can, okay? So I've got a whole collection of books today that I got at an estate sale and it, lots of very, very, very old books. Oh, I guess we could start right here in this box that I have. So you see all these piles next to me? These are all the books that I got today. So here's the first one, which is nothing really exciting except that it's a blank book. So totally blank inside, really pretty. Uh, I don't know what the deal is, but it was there. Um, and then I've got this set of four books that is Roland's History. So I have four that look like this, super shabby and such marbled inside. I love those inside pages. The inscription is 1868. Yeah, the books were published in 1864. The ancient history of the Egyptian, Egyptians, Carthaginians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Medes, and Persians, Macedonians, and Grecians by Charles Rollin. So uh, it's four volumes in complete, and I have all four volumes. How fun is that? And then I have this giant stack of little books. Okay, we'll just go through these really quick. Uh, through the Bible devotions. This one is uh, the Book of Common Prayer. Let's see if there's a date. 1887, I think is the date on that. This looks like it's probably a New Testament. Let's see cover is ripped. The hymnal. Okay, it's so got an old hymnal there. This one is called Broken Road. This is a hymnal. Daily Light. This is a super uh, shabby Prue and I. Beautiful inside. Look at the rounded pages and the gold. I love that. Uh, of the Imitation of Christ. A collection of colloquial phrases, 1846. This looks like let's see, the New Testament. This one is broken. Uh, another hymnal. Uh, Daily Light, again, a little red one. And this beautiful book is called The Golden Treasury. See that? So pretty. Golden Treasury of Songs and Lyrics. I don't see a date. Oh, it's illustrated. It's got lots of little pictures inside. Okay. Columbia Viking Desk Encyclopedia. This old guy is missing a cover. Let's see, uh, it's got an inscription from 1850, the British pulpit. Uh, 1843 is the date. Another super old book. Oh, so pretty. Let's see. Super Fox, The Life of Patrick Henry. see 1832 goodness gracious English church craftsmanship see inside another super old shabby with one missing cover this one is called geology of Tennessee 1869 looks like it's got some kind of fold-out map in here that's going to be fun to look through. This one. Uh, Josephus, Volume 1. This one has some kind of book cover on it, so I'm hoping it's in really good condition inside. Let's flip it over. You can see how it's sewn. Can you see that it's sewn together like that? No tape. Um... Spires and Surin's French and English Pronouncing Dictionary. 
1866. I cannot wait to take this cover off and see what's underneath you guys. Okay. Oh. Shakespeare, both covers loose. How beautiful is that? Oh, it's lovely. Mm. I don't even want to flip through this one because I'm afraid I might damage it. So I'm going to set that right there. Okay. Alexander Hamilton. Uh, Life in the Old World. In two volumes. We'll see if we come across volume number one. 1860. This has, that cover does not belong with that. That cover belongs with it. This is called uh, Took's Pantheon of the Heathen Gods, 1897. Huh, interesting. Uh, boring in comparison, college algebra. Golden Treasury of Songs and Lyrics, again, another copy. I'm gonna put that over there with my small books. Uh, let's see what this is. Daniel DeRoda by George Eliot. Look at the pretty design on that. Isn't that nice. Adam Bede, George Eliot, 1859. Home Life in Colonial Days. Here's the back. Wonder what happened there. Inscription from 1909, written by Alice Morse Earl. There's a house. Let's just flip through there real quick. Flax spinning. That's a good find. That'll be very popular. German grammar. How handsome is that? And then Kenmore and the Lewises. I don't know what that is. And more in the Lewis's. Um, hmm. Relatively new book. It's got lots of pictures inside. Oh, it's got a little card inside. Uh, serves blank. Required from the uh, recipe from the kitchen of blank. Here's what's cooking. So it's a little recipe card used as a bookmark inside. Uh, we've got another old, huge book here. Look at that. This is the one that was in the car seat with that giant dictionary that I showed you on Instagram. This is Copious and Critical, Latin English Lexicon, 1868. That is a find for us Latin nerds out there. How beautiful is that? Okay, we've got historic ships. Look at the back. And we'll open up this dust jacket. It's got an inscription from 1937. That's a pretty book. Look at this one. one the Wonderful Story of Jesus. Isn't that pretty? This is from, it's pretty wobbly. Hmm. It's got two, an index of illustrations that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages long. Looks like it's missing some pages and I can't find a date because I think some of the front pages are missing. Uh, Mrs. Browning's poems. This will be popular. Oh, poetical works of Elizabeth Barrett Browning. This is from 1882. And the Shepherd Song on the Hills of Lebanon. Very pretty purple book. This one is pink, The Golden Rose. Very pretty. Another super old shabby. Let's see what this is. 
Got an inscription from 1869-70, Manual of Geology. So this must have been an old school book, which is why it says 1869-70 inside. Uh, my this, my, what is it? Oh, my this. Myths. It says myths. Myths of Greece and Rome. Not my this. 1895 is the inscription date inside of this book. And I'll just grab a few here. This is a super old and shabby. Let's see what it is. Stories from European History, 1866. The British Court, uh, its traditions and ceremonies. Gold inside, nice. This is another, oh, Browning, look at this beautiful book. Another Browning poetry book. Study programs by Charlotte Porter and Helen A. Clark, Robert Browning. Hmm, this is lovely, 1900. This one is called Longfellow's Hyperion. Nice old copy of that. The Arabian Nights. Super shabby. Three more. The Journal of George Fox. Let's see. Nice pretty blue color. This one says Gordon on it. Let's see. Charles George Gordon, a 19th century worthy of English church, of the English church. 1888, a biographical sketch. There he is, kind of looks like that guy on Days of Our Lives. What's his name? I don't remember. Um, here we go. This one is called Light Horse Harry Lee, 1931. Grab a few more here. I'm getting boxed in. Bless This House, a novel. Uh, that's why I bought it. Won't that look fun in a stack? A nice green book stack. Here's a Tennyson Super Shabs. Okay, look how shabby that is, but nice old works of Tennyson. This, the one story, The Life of Christ, 1945. Very, very handsome, very 19 mid-mod uh, mid there. So that's why I bought that. Um, Anne Boleyn, this has a beautiful spine. Um, I already have one in my shelves right there, but I, I knew that this had a pretty spine, so I went ahead and bought another copy. It's got a card inside with grapes on it. Wow, somebody wrote a nice long card. Okay, let's put that away. Look at this handsome book. See that color? Front, the back. Let's see what it's called. St. Ilario by Mar Mar F. Marion Crawford, the complete works of F. Marion Crawford in 32 volumes. Wow, that would have been handsome and as a 32 volume set, but I think that's the only one I got. Elizabeth and Philip. Look at the babies. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's pretty. A little bit faded because of this chunk that's ripped out there. Writing and Thinking, Part 2, Handbook of Revision. That will either get sold to somebody who's interested in the subject or will be put in a book stack. This is a really pretty book. The Long Roll. Looks like it used to have some nice flower detail there. Naval Training Station. Newport, Rhode Island. Oh, they're playing basketball. This book, let's see, 1911. Got two nice old books here. This one surprisingly still has its covers attached even though its spine is breaking. Let's see what it is. Life in the Old World or the Two Years in Switzerland and Italy by Frederica Bremer. Vol in two volumes, this is volume one, 1860. And this is Ecclesia Anglicana. Hmm. 
Ecclesia Anglicana, a history of the Church of Christ in England from the earliest to the present times. Very nice. That's a beautiful book. I really like that one. Okay, moving on. Shadow in Light and Bereavement. I bought that for the color. Daily Strength for Daily Needs. That's another little book I'll put over there. Modern Geography or A View of the Present State of the World. 18, gosh, that looks like 1839. It's missing both of its covers. There's another little book. This one is Robert's Rules of Order. Uh, the Observer's Book of London. So this is an old um, tourist guide. from 1977. The Heart of Christmas, I'll be putting this in my Christmas box. The Story of Mohonk. Oh, that's lovely inside. Really pretty pages, lots of interesting pictures. Hmm. Uh, Elgernon Sidney Sullivan. Look how pretty that is. Got quite a long inscription in the front. 1929, that's a very pretty book. I'll have to learn more about that one. Hanging in there guys, it's been 16 minutes. The Growth of the American Republic, 1942. Another super old antique book. Uh, something about the history and politics of Tennessee. Both the covers loose. The fun encyclopedia. Woohoo! Got a clown on the spine. That looks mid, mid mid 40s, I would say, 40s or 50s. Let's take a look. Let me see. Um, yep, 1940. Roger's Thesaurus in dictionary form. Nice handsome copy. Blue. Geographical Reader, so an old school reader. This is 1887. Somebody dried some flowers inside. Uh, Steel Science Series, Zoology. Ooh, lots of illustrations in here. That's beautiful. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Uh, it says, lays, lays for little chaps? What does that mean? Lays for little chaps. Let's take a look inside this one. Oh. 1902, a little poetry book. How sweet is that? Hmm. The Prayers of Peter Marshall. This looks like another mid-century. Yes, very handsome. I really like that gray. The Man from Glengarry. That is very handsome. And then I've got these two books, which is really pretty. Look at that. See how nice they are? One is in a little bit better condition than the other. See the gold? Can you see the gold shining there? Let's take a look and see what these are. Poems by William Cullen Bryan. Wow. I don't see a publication date. Let's see if this is the same. Sir Walter Scott, the poetical works of Sir Walter Scott. Again, no publication date, but can you believe how pretty those are? Those might be the prettiest books I found. Knight Errant. I'm guessing this is just a fiction book. It's got an inscription from 1895. Here's a nice Shakespeare. Complete works. It's a pretty small little volume to be complete works. 1919, Oxford Shakespeare. Here is a 
book that has been split in two. Uh, the History of Tennessee, I believe. Can you see that? How pretty is that? That would have been a gorgeous book back in the day. All right, guys, one more pile to go here. This one is wrapped in paper. Let's see what it is. The story of Mohonk again. Hmm. This is a very old, shabby book. Nice detail on the spine. Let's see what it is. Abridged History of the United States, 1853. Virginians at Home, Family Life in the 18th Century. Nice greenish blue book. Interesting topic. Complete Arithmetic. Canterbury, William Townsend. What's the inside? Pretty handsome red. The British Book Center. So this must have been published in Great Britain. Ooh, oh, wow. Holy cow. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Gold along the edges. The King of Glory. Wow. Published by Southwestern Publishing House in Nashville in the year 1884. This is fabulous. What a beautiful book that is. Wow, that's a stunner. Okay, The Power of Positive Thinking, Thought Conditioners by Norman Vincent Peale and tucked away inside this book. It's got an inscription, Christmas 1953. Whoops, there goes my book tower. You know it has to happen every video. Pen by Elizabeth Janet Gray, illustrated by George Whitney. That's a nice book. Here's another old one with the loose covers. Let's see what it is. A View of the Evidences of Christianity in Three Parts, 1849. Obviously a religious person whose home I went to today a religious scholar, Bartlett's quotations, dun, 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 my favorite. That is definitely my favorite Bartlett's spine right there. That color is beautiful. History of English literature. Hang in there, guys. We'll be under 30 minutes. History of English literature is uh, 1900. Another green, very old book. Bubbles. From the Brunnen of Nassau by an old man, 1845. Bubbles. Jean Christophe in Paris. Jean Christophe in Paris. Okay. Super old. Super. Hello. I will try to very carefully open this one and see what it is. It is Spectator, a new edition with biographical notices of the contributors, 1864. Then we have this. I don't know what this is. Some kind of, it's a roll book. It says roll book inside. National roll book. So somebody took roll in their classroom here. See that? All kinds of papers tucked away in here. Looking for fun? Boat rides aboard the beautiful new Philadelphia Harbor Tours showboat. No oh, thanks. La Belle France. La Belle France. Got some nice graffiti inside with the 1943-44 date. This is the new edition. So this is an old uh, French school book. The Next to Nothing House. Look at this interesting book. I don't know what it is. Let's take a look. 1922. I don't know. There's a little house. Let's see a table of contents. The picture postcard house. My parlor, the parlor bedroom, the old farm kitchen, my kitchen, the L chamber, the Heppel White bedroom, the upper hall and bathroom, the prettiest room, the south chamber. So this is a tour of somebody's house. Where I was born and raised, including uh, God Shakes Creation, David L. Cohn. Look at that. Is 
isn't that fun? Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. It's a nice old dictionary. It's in pretty good condition. Indexed, of course. It's got a little piece of paper in here. Let's see what it says. Miss Hacker, Jamestown, Rhode Island. Just a little note she left in there. This is from 1940. We've got a few books left here. We've got a nice green one. The Trail of the Lonesome Pine. This one has been taped. The Outline, uh, Wilson's Outlines of History. Let's see. 1870. By Geographical and Historical Notes and Maps, Part 1, Ancient History, Part 2, Modern History. Oh no, don't you fall over. Southern Literature, look at this beautiful book. That just feels so nice in my hands. This is 1895, A Comprehensive Review and Copious Extracts and Criticisms. Two more to go. This one is Handbook of English History. Eighteen ninety one, a Handbook of English Hi History based on the lectures of the late M. J. Guest. And here's one more shabby antique book, Trigonometry: Elements of Plane and Spherical Trigonometry. Okay. We did it, guys. We made it through that whole entire haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it took so long, but it just takes a long time to go through these all, the, all these books. There's nothing we can really do about it. Okay, so I'll see you guys um, on Instagram this week. On Monday and Tuesday, we're going to have a book sale. Maybe some of these will make it into the sale. And then I'm going out of town this, this coming weekend. Um, and I won't be buying any books. But I'll be driving from New York to Florida, and that's just gonna be delightful. Okay, so thanks guys for watching. I will see you over on Instagram on Monday for a book sale, okay? All right, see you later.